So just a quick tip video today, when you're trying to identify what type of alteration is in the rock, it's a good idea to look at the rock when it's wet and when it's dry. So when I break open a new piece of rock, I always look at it dry first. Because a lot of the phyllosilicate minerals that are part of the alteration assemblage are much easier to identify and see the changes when they're dry, particularly secondary biotite because it forms a fine mass of randomly oriented grains and when you tilt it around in the sunlight you can see the reflections off those grains when it's dry. As soon as the sample is wet that'll just appear as a black mass and you can't identify the minerals. Chlorite is a bit the same. When it first starts to alter biotite, the first thing that happens is that the cleavage planes go wrinkly. And you can most easily see that by looking at the reflection of the cleavage planes when the sample's dry. Then wet the sample, then you can see the difference between what's happening in the feldspars and the quartz and the other minerals that get altered. So whenever you start, look dry first and then lick the rock.